Welcome to First Word Farmers News Roundup for June the 27th, brought to you today by Senior Editor Matt Dennis. In our top news story, Sanofi and Boehringer Ingelheim signed a deal to exchange the French drugmaker's animal health unit with the German company's consumer healthcare business. The parties noted that the asset swap lays the foundation for both companies to reach size and scale in two highly attractive pharmaceutical activities. The transaction, which is expected to close by the end of 2016, also includes a cash payment of 4.7 billion euros to Sanofi to reflect the difference in value of the two businesses. Sanofi CEO Olivier Brandicourt remarked that the deal allows the drug maker to become a leader in consumer healthcare. In other news, GW Pharmaceuticals Epidiolex met the main goal of a phase 3 study in patients with Lennox Gastel syndrome. CEO Justin Gover said, We now look forward to advancing Epidiolex towards the submission of an NDA with the FDA in the first half of 2017. In addition, Bristol Myers Squibb's Opdivo gained FDA breakthrough therapy designation for unresectable locally advanced or metastatic urothelial carcinoma. The PD-1 inhibitor has previously been awarded the status for five indications, including advanced melanoma and non-squamous non-small cell lung cancer. And finally, Servier will market Daiichi Sankyo's all anticoagulant idoxaban in Canada if approved. Under the deal, Daiichi Sankyo will receive an upfront payment, regulatory and commercial milestones, as well as royalties on net product sales. To read these and other stories in full, visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today. 